Now, concerns over the status of sporting facilities across the country dominated the official launch of the Lona Kiplagat uh, Sports Academy. Active and retired athletes challenged the sports ministry to fast track construction of new facilities and rehabilitate the existing ones. However, despite the Jubilee government's pledge to revive and construct five new stadia across the country, the sports cabinet secretary Hassan Wario, who presided over the launch, sounded non-committal towards the government's promise and construction of the first privately owned modern stadium has revived the thirst of seeing the long overdue reconstruction of the Kipchoge Keino Stadium come to completion as soon as possible. Lona Kiplagat and her Dutch husband Peter Langehaust pumped in over 100 million shillings to this soon to be completed academy complete with a tartan track and athletes who have had to make do with dusty facilities while preparing for international assignments challenged the government to walk the talk. Ikinyesha Kenya, huwa tuna mali ba masawesi, huwa tunaenda, tunaenda kwa kiwanja anyasi. Kipchoge today has escalated to 150 million, 120 million. What happens when the government takes over a project? We are also working very hard to see that uh, the Kipchoge Stadium is come to a conclusion so that uh, we don't uh, overcrowd that uh, facility uh, only. Sports Cabinet Secretary Hassan Wario defended the government, saying the poor state of the stadiums across the country is an inherited problem and one that will take collective responsibility to solve. Athletes from the larger Rift Valley can now celebrate the construction of the Lona Kiplagat Sports Academy. It's been my dream to have a place where we can combine sports as well as studying. The Sports Academy will be the first privately owned stadium in the country and the first of its kind besides Kasarani and the Nyayo National Stadium. Lynn Washira, KTN Sports.